I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application question on vectors dealing with parallelogram. So let us look into this question in greater details. So the question before us is that the point M which is 3 minus 1 4 and which is minus 2 3 2 P is minus 5 9 minus 1 and the fourth point Q form a parallelogram M and P Q. Determine the acute angle that is that the diagonal MP and NQ make with each other. So let us sketch one parallelogram and then solve. So let us say this is the parallelogram which is M and PQ. M and PQ. So always number them counterclockwise. That is uh, one key thing which will always help you to answer correctly. So these are the points uh, given to us, determine acute angle that the diagonal MP and NQ makes. So, so that is one diagonal, right? So this is one diagonal and that's the other one. So we need to find the acute angles between them. So that is the question for us. Now even before finding the acute angle, we are only given three points, M, N. So we are given M and N and P. We need to find what Q is correct. So first step is to find the point Q, which you can find because they are parallelogram. These two sides are parallel and their magnitude is same. Therefore, the vector MQ should be equal to vector NP, right? So NP. So let us assume Q to be X, Y, and Z, right? So and then we'll find these points. So M is 3 minus 1, 4. So what is MQ? So it will be X minus 3. So it is X minus 3. Y minus, which becomes plus 1. And Z minus 4. So that is MQ. And this should be equals to NP. So N to P, which is minus 4 minus, minus 5 minus 2. That means minus 3. And 9 minus 3 which is 6 and minus 1 minus 2 which is minus 3 so that is what you get right so from here you can find what x is what y is and what z is so we get three different equations first one is x minus 3 equals to minus 3 and that gives you x is equals to 0 right the second one is y plus 1 we are comparing these two is 6 and that gives you y should be 5 and the last one here is z minus 4 is equals to minus 3 and that gives you z equals to minus 3 plus 4 which is 1. So we get the points, coordinate points for q and say q is 0, 5 and 1 for us, right? So first step is find the coordinates of point q. Now we know the coordinates of point q we can now find the angle between between the two, right? So if you need to find angle between, let's do it on the right side now. So determine the acute angle for diagonals MP and NQ, right? So we can use dot product to find the angle. So we know cos of theta is equal to dot product of MP, these two, right? Dot product of MP, okay, and NQ, right, divided by their magnitudes, right, so divided by the magnitude of MP times NQ, right, so that is how we can find the angle between them. So let's calculate MP. Now, MP will be P is here and that is, so we'll just do from these two points, right? So M and P, okay? So we have MP could be written as minus 5 minus 3. So M to P, so we'll do minus 5 minus 3, which is minus 8. 9 minus 1, which is 10. Minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. So that is MP dot NQ. N to Q, so we'll do Q point is 0. 0. So let's write down all the points. So we'll write n also here. So it becomes easier for us. n is minus 2, 
3 and 2. So n q will be 0 minus 2 which is 2, 5 minus 3 which is 2, 1 minus 2 which is minus 1. Correct? So, so that is how we get the values for each vector. Correct? Now we have to write down the magnitudes which is square of 8 minus 8 which is 64 plus square of 10 which is 100 plus square of minus 5 which is 25 times square of these each components magnitude 4 plus 4 plus 1 right so so that is how you get the cosine of this value right so we could write this as let's now multiply so we get minus 16 10 times 2 is plus 20 minus minus is plus plus 5 divided by let's use calculator to find these answers so it is square root of 64 plus 100 plus 25 equals to 3 3 square root 21 and 4 plus 4 8 plus 9 is 3 right so that is what you get and let's calculate this it is 25 minus 16 that is a numerator divided by within brackets 9 times square root 21 right and this is equal to square root 21 over 21 okay in decimal let's write this as 0 0.2182 right so that is the value of cos theta. So theta equals to cos inverse of 0 0.2182, right? So we'll use shift cos inverse of the answer, and that gives you the answer as equal to 77.395, correct? Which was just kind of 77.40, you can write that as 77.40 degrees, correct? So that is the acute angle between the two diagonals. I hope the steps are absolutely clear to you. So we can write down the answer as the acute angle theta is equals to 77.4 degrees, right? So that is how you could answer this question. I hope that helps. Thank you.